Hello Booktube, I'm Jonathan, and today we're going back in time. That was weird. With a classic sci-fi book haul. I'm gonna let you know a little bit more about each of these books in order to help you decide whether you wanna join me and add these five classic sci-fi books to your TBR. So let's get started with our first book, What Mad Universe by Frederick Brown. The editor of a sci-fi pulp magazine is accidentally transported to a time and place where space travel is common, Earth is at war with creepy aliens, New York City isn't safe after dark, and his girlfriend is with someone else. What mad universe is this? I was able to find a 1978 printing of this book, and while personally I do try to keep all of my books in excellent condition, when it comes to classic books I don't mind quite as much if they have a little bit of character to them. I first came across Frederick Brown by reading a story of his in the Science Fiction Hall of Fame Volume 1 Anthology, and I recently made a video on five of the stories that I read from that anthology, and the story by Brown titled Arena actually ended up being my favourite. So I did a bit of research on Brown, and he did have a few novels that piqued my interest, but What Mad Universe sounded the most fun to me. It seems like a bit of a pulpy adventure, but also offers a twist in that it subverts and parodies some of those pulpy tropes. I really liked his writing style in Arena, which combined both a sense of fun as well as some really well thought out details and fleshing out the high concept. So hopefully I have just as much fun with What Mad Universe. Alright, up next we have Dangerous Visions, edited by Harlan Ellison. Dangerous Visions is a science fiction anthology and contains 33 short works, all published for the first time in this 1967 collection, that helped define the new wave subgenre. I like the edition I found for Dangerous Visions, but seeing as it's almost entirely green, the green screen filter will probably filter it out. I might be holding nothing right now, so I'll edit in a picture for you. As someone that's typically more drawn to novels, I've decided to dabble a little bit more in sci-fi short stories for two reasons. The first is because of the historical importance to the genre. In the first half of the 20th century, most science fiction was primarily consumed through magazines, and how many authors got published was through the short story format. It wasn't until the 1950s and 60s that science fiction became a more respected genre by the mainstream readers, and more publishers started publishing more sci-fi novels. And my second reason is that it's a fun way to get a quick taste for a range of different authors, and then you can use that in order to decide which books you want to pick up from the authors that you enjoy. And Dangerous Vision specifically is one of the most popular and influential science fiction anthologies. It had the most amount of ratings of any anthology that I could find on Goodreads. It features some highly prominent authors in the science fiction genre, and 20 of its contributors received a major science fiction award. Featured works in the collection received six nominations and two wins at the Hugo Awards, including Best Novella, Best Novelette, and Best Short Story, as well as four nominations and two wins at the Nebula Awards, including Best Novelette and Best Short Story. I've heard that some of the stories in this collection were well ahead of their time, whereas some others may not have aged so well, but either way, I'm looking forward to learning more about these works. Okay, for our third book we have The Lathe of Heaven by Ursula K. Le Guin. In a future world racked by violence and environmental catastrophes, George wakes up one day to discover that his dreams have the ability to alter reality. He seeks help from Dr. Haber, a psychiatrist who immediately grasps the power George wields. Soon George must preserve reality itself, as Dr. Haber becomes adept at manipulating George's dreams for his own purposes. The Lathe of Heaven was kindly sent to me by a subscriber, Cheryl, so thank you very much, Cheryl, for the awesome gift. This will be the second book that I have tried from Le Guin, and to be honest, I was a little bit mixed on The Left Hand of Darkness, but Le Guin is just such a prolific and prominent author that I know I definitely need to read more of her works, and the premise for The Lathe of Heaven just sounds fascinating. Apparently this book was a tribute to Philip K. Dick's writing style, which I'm a big fan of, and Philip K. Dick himself stated that this was one of the best books and most important to understanding the nature of our world. I do tend to love books that play with the nature of reality, so I have a good feeling that I'm going to enjoy this one, and if I do like it, I'll definitely need to read more from Le Guin, and I'll probably try The Dispossessed next. Alright, for our fourth and penultimate book we have The Inverted World by Christopher Priest. The city is winched along tracks through a devastated land full of hostile tribes. Rails must be freshly laid ahead of the city and carefully removed in its wake. But if the city does not move, it will fall farther and farther behind the optimum and into the crushing gravitational field that has transformed life on Earth. The only alternative to progress is death. 
This book was also sent to me by Cheryl, so I really do appreciate it. That was very, very generous of you, and I'm really looking forward to reading both of these books. This will be the first book that I've read from Christopher Priest, but he has been on my radar for a while, seeing as I am a massive fan of the film The Prestige, which was based on one of his novels. So if I enjoy this one, I'll definitely have to pick up The Prestige next. And I think I will enjoy The Inverted World because it sounds like it has a bit of a mix of hard science fiction as well as philosophy, which I tend to really enjoy. And the premise also reminds me a little bit of a storyline from one of Alistair Reynolds' books, and he is one of my all-time favourite writers. A few of my sci-fi friends read The Inverted World and spoke very highly of it, and I started to get The Inverted World FOMO. So if you're like me and don't want to mess out, consider picking up The Inverted World. And for our fifth and final book we have, Dawn by Octavia E. Butler. Lilith has just lost her husband and son when atomic fire consumes Earth, the last stage of the planet's final war. Hundreds of years later, Lilith awakes deep in the hold of a massive alien spacecraft piloted by the Owen Kali, who arrived just in time to save humanity from extinction, but life among the Owen Kali will be nothing like it was before. This copy of Dawn was also a gift, so I've been very fortunate this month, and I love this cover, although it does have some green in it, so we'll see how that turns out in the editing process. But anyway, this came to me from my friend Whitney over at The Secret Source of Storycraft. Whitney has a great channel, and she actually did an amazing deep dive on Octavia E. Butler, so definitely go check out that video if you're interested in learning more about Butler. So far, I've just read one book from Butler, and that was Wild Seed. I was a little bit mixed on that one, but I know she has some other very popular works, including Kindred, The Parable of the Sower, and the one that caught my attention, Dawn. Dawn is the first book in the Xenogenesis trilogy, also known as Lilith's Brood. I know it has some interesting themes to do with biology and genetic engineering, and I'm looking forward to seeing how things play out between these two civilizations, humanity and the Owen Kali. So there you go, those are five classic sci-fi books on my TBR. Let me know your thoughts if you've read any of them and which ones you might be interested in picking up. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, smash or just gently click the subscribe button, and if you really enjoyed it, consider checking out the perks of becoming a Patreon member, where you can become one of my robots, androids or cyborgs like Neiman, A New Eden, Half Ogre, Zakao Wei, and the Black and White Colin. And you can find more sci-fi content over here.